Well, hello, everybody. I'm Paul Wren, and I'm your host for this week's episode of What's New with JMARS. Now, this is our premiere episode, so we're going to start with a big picture view of what's been going on with JMARS. As you know, or you might know, we're about to make a major new release, and it is definitely not the JMARS you think you know. Uh, one of the first things you'll see is a completely new look and feel. There's been a big effort to bring the user experience kicking and screaming into the 21st century. And uh, our first guest is the person leading that effort, Zoya Anderson. Welcome, Zoya. Good afternoon, Paul. So, Zoya, can you tell us a little bit about what, what, what's the philosophy driving these changes to the look and feel of the JMARS interface? Sure. There are certainly several criteria that I can identify that uh, drive this effort. Majorly customer driven. We received a lot of feedback from our users, from JMR's customers, expressing a desire to have a more modern looking, more aesthetically pleasing interface. Mm -hmm. And as we work close with our users, we certainly take their comments to heart. And the, the comment of desiring to have a better interface really uh, started to drive this effort of redesign. Another factor that I can think of is the modern day technologies. As we interface with various devices in almost every aspect of our life, we certainly expect certain criteria from the interfaces. Sure. Our expectations change about how interfaces work and our expectations continually growing about how interfaces should look. And certainly that's another criteria that plays into redesign effort. Great. Additionally, as you know, JMARS is a complex scientific application. And so I uh, take all the input that my team provides about architecture, mm -hmm. about uh, capabilities of application, about technical constraints, and uh, various uh, factors that we can or cannot implement with the interface. But all these factors combined lead us to redesign effort and form our philosophy. Great. And that philosophy essentially is to create state-of-the-art user interface experience for the JMARS application. That sounds great. Um, what can we tell some of the old-time old users of JMARS? They've been using it for years and years. Um, uh, are they going to be lost or are, are they... You know, what can you tell a, a long-time user? For the long-time users, they will not be lost. Definitely not lost. The learning curve is expected to be minimal, if any, at all. Oh, that's great. First of all, familiarity of the interface uh, will be there. Uh, as we carefully chose the development and design framework for, the, for this effort, um, we make sure that... Uh, users will see similar controls, similar color combinations, similar um, behaviors of the controls as they use on their uh, smartphones, on their tablets, and yeah. on their right. websites. So familiarity of the design is there due to the framework that we chose for the development. So you're saying uh, the familiarity isn't from the old JMARS, it's a familiarity with the way modern user interfaces just work. Exactly right. That's great. Okay. Well, you know, I, I don't think we should make the viewers wait any longer. Let's, uh, let's go take a look at this new uh, look and feel. Of course. Let me share okay. my screen and we'll walk through. On my screen is the login page of the next release of JMARS. The next release of JMARS is called JMARS 5. Yep. For the users who currently use JMARS, uh, it's JMARS 4. And so please be advised that we'll call it JMARS 5 that will have this new look that we're talking about. It already looks different, so that's great. It, it does, it does. And so uh, not only it looks different, it offers additional functionality uh, that uh, convenient to you to access right away from the login page. Mm -hmm. As you see, you can choose a celestial body here. Mm -hmm. uh, just open the drop down box and uh, here are all the celestial bodies that JMARS works with and feel free to choose any. Uh, for me, Mars is selected by default, but you can make your Luna, etc., right here. 
Additionally, we keep um, up-to-date announcements on the login page. Whatever is the latest happening in JMARS and we share with the world will appear on your login page at every login. This is live update, not stale, so up-to-date, the latest information. We Perfect. give you a few short preview of some announcements and you can always read more by clicking the link. That's great. Thank you. And we invite you to join us on our social media sites. On the login page, you can find our link to Facebook, our link to Twitter, and our homepage. And one more interesting feature, and you can check for updates. As we release new versions of JMARS and post them for installation, you can always check for updates by clicking this uh, check for updates link on the login page. And we are in an update rich environment right now. I mean, we've already had 19 versions of the beta. So, Correct. Yes. And I, I expect we have a lot more things we're going to be rolling out over the next six to 12 months. Absolutely. Yep. It's a very true expectation. And that's what's coming. So as soon as you bring and there is update, you can always check here. Great. Uh, so I log in and we will see a new presentation of Jamers 5. That's uh, on start, JMARS 5, how it looks right now. I think it looks great. So there's really a lot of, a lot of changes in the color scheme and uh, icons and things like that. Absolutely. You notice the right thing. Uh, <laughs> color scheme is changed and carefully selected. Uh, all colors are well coordinated. Also colorblind accessible. Uh, we encountered for that factor in our development as well. That's terrific. That's good to know. Yes, accessibility of the interface is one of the important criteria we work for. Uh, it's more aesthetically pleasing and um, more modern look, reflecting uh, controls that you've seen elsewhere and you know how they work. You probably know what menu is. It means more. Right sure. click or left click on it and you will see additional menus. Wow, that's uh, great. Hover buttons. Uh, that means add something. We'll talk about it more. Mm -hmm. And uh, overall, uh, hover eff effects, click effects are more prominent, more yes. visually appealing. Uh, and, and yet it's still laid out like JMARS. We've still got a main display, a panner. We've got the layer stack over here on the, on the left. That's great. Absolutely. Um, but, but over in the layers, it looks different. What's, what's going on down on the bottom there? Yes, it does look different. What we did here is we took uh, the four overlay uh, layers that exist in JMARS, their map scale, bar, north arrow, latitude, longitude, and nomenclature. And we grouped them here on the layer manager for your convenience to either work them as needed or collapse them um, if not needed. And uh, also, like with any other layers, you can turn on and off by toggling these buttons. But they're just convenient uh, cartography tools that can be at your fingertips. You don't need to search for them through layer addition, but they're right there if you need them and use them commonly. And I, I noticed one other thing, they're actually below the Themis DIR uh, map, but they're still visible on top of that map layer. Absolutely, they will be always on top. Um, they're always uh, on top of the layers. That is oh, that's correct. great. That's terrific. That's really what you want. Yes, that's what we uh, yeah. definitely work this through consultancy with the ex experts in the field and we uh, receive that. That's how it works. So that's how we implement it. That's correct. Uh, don't be concerned. It doesn't take too much real estate. If you don't like it, you can collapse it and your layer loading will grow sure. right here. And there is always a scroll bar if you load hundreds of layers uh, okay. as much as you need. This will not take up any rooms that you previously used to have. Sure. I, I'm not seeing much of the map name. Can you, is it possible to see more of that? Yes, oh. uh, the, the map name sometimes long. Yep. Uh, we, we know that they have to kind of, in the name, we have to say what they are. And oh, what but you have are. a tooltip, so that's great. We have a tooltip, but okay. uh, if, you need to see the name fully, you can freely expand this bar. Or if not, then it collapses now more than it used to be. 
Wow, yeah. Almost okay. uh, very thin. Sure. Uh, screw panel. Uh, depends on your convenience. But right. uh, I want to also mention that the default map is so beautiful. This it is really the is. updated Mars map, and it's gorgeous. And uh, hope you enjoy it. I love uh, it the most. Yeah, so, that's my, my new favorite map. I really like and it. it. Yes, it's marked as favorite, and it's loaded by default. So here it is. That's great. Uh, theme is Day IR with ASU Colors version 13.3. And I think those ASU Colors are based on elevation still, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. But cool. they reflect more accurately. Uh, yeah, that's terrific. What, what these elevations are, yes. So are there, are there any new behavioral changes that we haven't talked about? At this stage, um, our overall redesign effort, to answer this question, uh, let me step back for a moment. Overall redesign effort uh, consists of two parts, if you will. Mm -hmm. Part one is addressing look and feel, controls, colors, aesthetics, modern looks, and that's what we're nearing a completion of. As we're nearing a completion of this phase, we come up with JMARS 5 next release. Also, That's completing uh, step one allows us to build a foundation on top of which part two will be built. Part two is functionality, addressing okay. various workflows, addressing various complex modules within JMARS, addressing various uh, interfaces, how users achieve things within JMARS, simplifying sure. them, streamlining them, making them more efficient. This effort is ongoing as we speak and you will learn more and more about it in our upcoming podcasts. Sounds great. So I with the look and feel, uh, with this phase, completing uh, phase one, yes, we do have uh, some of the functionality changes as you Paul asked. For example, add layer. The most commonly used feature that everyone interfaces with at some point in JMARS, adding layers. And here it is, by clicking the plus sign, I bring new dialogue. And uh, look what we have for you here. First, uh, a fantastically powerful search, but more on it in the next podcast. I want okay. just to mention it's there, but please join in in the next podcast to learn more. Now, browse layers. For all of the established JMARS users, for our existing customer base, this is your familiar interface as you used to add layers through this interface currently in JMARS 4. Here are the categories, subcategories when applicable, and results of these selections. Will I be see. very good. Uh, so there is such factor, Paul, in interfaces or in any aspect of human life is called muscle memory. So yes. you used to do things certain way. We're not taking it away from you. Well, that's, Here that's, that should be good news to a lot of users, I would think. Yes, absolutely, it's there. But uh, let's say for newer users, or uh, let's say new to JMARS, new to planetary science, you may know few keywords and you can type them here and you will find your map. Uh, for example, ASU, and here's the list. Or temperature. Oh yeah. Okay. And uh, here is the list. Now, but more on it, more on it later. Sure, sounds great. And additionally, favorites. Oh, that's you, new. That's new. Yeah. And it allows you to, whatever is your favorite, just like you favor your bookmarks or various sites on the website, you can uh, mark favorite layers here and they will be already displayed in that order for you uh, when you log in. But to note, you need to be logged in and not, continue, not used as guest. We ah. give that option to log in as guest but um, sure. you, you have to log in to provide your credentials. Otherwise, it will be disabled. It, it wouldn't know who you are to save your you favorites. You wouldn't know, right, right, who are the right. favorites for, exactly. So please right. log in to have this feature enabled for you. So you can see functionality had changed already. And uh, um, that's only first of many steps that we wow. plan to do in the future uh, to address more complex uh, workflows and modules within JMARS to make it more inviting, more intuitive, uh, and simpler. Well, I, I think it's a very exciting new development in how JMARS looks, how you control it, how you interact with it. Um, I, and I, I really hope that uh, 
you know, all, all the new, all the users out there will give it a try. You know, you gotta, you can go right now and download this beta, JMARS 5 beta. Uh, it's available on our website. Um, in fact, Zoya, do you mind if I grab the screen? Please do. Okay, so let me go and I'll do a quick share here. All right, so this is, um, this is the JMARS homepage. If you've never seen it before, you probably have seen it. Um, and we have information on here for you. The same announcements that you see on the login box are here. We have lots of tutorials, both uh, text tutorials and video tutorials for individual features. But what I wanted to point you to is how do you get JMARS? So you come over to the right and we actually recommend to you based on what computer you're using, what your best installer is. And see, this one's telling me that the best installer for me is the one for Mac OS because I'm running this on Mac. Um, but right below it, there it is, the JMARS beta. So you can download the JMARS beta, install it, and be running this new interface in probably less than three minutes from the time you make this decision. So we really encourage you to do this. It does not delete regular JMARS from your machine. You can have, they can coexist. You can launch the one you want to launch. Um, and, and Zoya, I think we talked about this earlier, you and I, if you've got saved session files, those can all be loaded, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we, made, uh, we made a great effort to preserve all your data in JMARS 5 or in this beta, if you start using it, all your uh, JMARS JMARS files or layer files, session files, can be safely loaded into new version and Terrific. appear as you used to have them. Additionally, if you run JMARS from command line, uh, new JMARS has that capability as well. And sure. you can provide your session files and layer files as command line parameters uh, running new version of JMARS as well. So all yeah. your data is safe. All your uh, configuration settings or what you used to, how JMARS loads is also saved. So you will uh, really no. have, lit, should have little apprehension on uh, starting very little. To Honestly, <laughs> I've been using the new version myself. I'm actually very, very pleased with it. Naturally, as a developer and a user, I keep finding little things and I feel sure. to the rest of the team because that's what we do as developers. But exactly. very exciting time. So I, that's, that's about all we have for this time, right? Yes, I just want to only mention that your feedback is welcome. Uh, oh, yeah. Being driven by user input, by user customer contribution is great for the product. And uh, we welcome your feedback. We listen attentively. We take your feedback to heart and implement to the best we can. Whatever Absolutely. we can support you in or uh, help right. you with, we'll be honored to do that. And as a new release, of course, there will be comments and feedback and we open and uh, welcome it. And you can communicate with us, uh, not you, Zoya, well, you can too, but uh, listeners can communicate with us by email from the JMARS website. We've got our email address there. You can email us. You can tweet to us. You yes. can post to our Facebook page. And you know, if you're running JMARS, you can actually pull down a menu and report a bug if you have an issue and it'll send us all the information about your current session and and uh and you can tell us what you ran into and we'll be happy to get back to you we've got a big team of people everybody loves to help users it's a great thing so it's absolutely right absolutely well i i guess i guess we're going to say goodbye for now zoya please stay safe on mars i can see you're really keeping this distancing thing serious <laughs> Good job. You get right. And, uh, and to everybody else, please stay healthy, stay safe. And uh, we'll be back soon with another uh, edition of What's New with JMARS. Absolutely, so we will. Yes, there is much more interesting and useful stuff to come. And thanks again, Zoya, for being with us. Thank you, Paul. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. All right. Take care.